Do you struggle with bad thoughts? Do you worry a lot about being a bad person? Then you and I need to talk. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, I'm Natasha Daniels. I'm a child therapist and an OCD specialist, and I make these videos to help you tackle your OCD. If you like videos to help you tackle your OCD, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my future ones. I want to talk to you today about moral OCD, also known as scrupulosity OCD. It's a big fancy word for actually a very big problem. So OCD is completely misunderstood by most people and we think it's about washing or being afraid of germs or keeping clean. When in reality, OCD is purely about having an obsessive thought, a thought that's very upsetting, and a compulsion where we wanna do or avoid something in order to feel some brief relief. Now, moral OCD gets confused because it's a thought about being a bad person. And I like to call it the nice kid OCD theme because the super nice kids are the ones that tend to get this OCD theme because OCD will try to attack whatever it can that will really upset you. It tries to find whatever is going to be the most upsetting and present it like it's a possibility that it can happen to you. So I'm, if I'm really worried about my health, it's going to be around health. If I'm really worried about germs, it's going to be about germs. If I'm really worried about organization, it might be something about that. If I'm really worried about being a good person and making good choices, it's going to be about that. Did I just think about calling her a bad name? Pretty sure when I was like four, I did something really bad. Am I going to grow up to do all those really, really bad behaviors? Why would I have that thought? I must be really disturbed. That was gross. That was a really gross thought. Who has thoughts like that? There must be something seriously wrong with me. Would I do that? Did I do that? Could I do that? Will I do that? Oh my gosh, would I do that? Why would I think that? Moral OCD will give you an intrusive, obsessive thought that will be the worst possible thought that you can think of and it will sell it to you like it's your own thought. And that is scary because it's the opposite, the opposite of who you are. And depending how old you are, the thoughts get more and more disturbing as you get older because you have more creativity and more things that are off limits. And so I always tell kids who have moral OCD, whatever thought you think is your thought, that's a really upsetting thought, you are the opposite. So if it says you're this horrible person because you wanna do this or you're thinking this or maybe you had done that, it is the opposite. Now that is the obsessive part of the OCD. The compulsion looks like this. Mom, I need to talk to you about a thought that I'm having. I don't know, but I just need to tell you about this bad thought. I don't wanna do this, but I need to tell you about this. Do you think I might do this? Can I tell you about another bad thought I'm having? Mom, can I just talk to you for a second? I just had another bad thought. Can I just tell you it for a minute? Do you have these bad thoughts, Mom? Will you do this? I have another bad thought. Can I just talk to you for a minute? I'm having this really bad thought that I wanna call you this name. I'm having this really bad thought that I wanna hurt someone. I'm having this really bad thought that I want to do this really bad thing. Moral OCD is so cruel because it gives you this intrusive, horrible thought, makes you worried that it's your own thought, and then it tells you, hey, you know what? This thought will go away if you just confess it to your mom. Just confess it to your dad, and then you'll feel fine. Most of the time it's the mom, but I have seen it sometimes be the dad too. So OCD lies to you, and tells you, you need to tell somebody about this. So either you tell your mom or dad because you want them to tell you, whoa, don't worry about that. We all have thoughts like that. Or you want them to say, don't worry about that. You're not a bad kid. So I'm not worried, so you shouldn't be worried. Or some kids just need to tell somebody and then they feel relief. Unfortunately, that's a compulsion. And the compulsion is what feeds the OCD grows it stronger and makes it more annoying and bigger. Other compulsions around moral OCD are about doing things mentally, whether that's praying or saying something to kind of undo the bad thought or feel like God will forgive you. 
It just depends on your belief system and what's gonna bring you comfort. Ironically, the best way to deal with moral OCD is to realize that it is moral OCD. 99% of battling moral OCD is recognizing what it is and what you're not. And so instead of battling out in your head, would I do that? Why would I have that thought? You're having that thought because you have moral OCD. Done deal. That's the reason. You're gonna have really horrible, disturbing thoughts about what you may or may not wanna do in the future that do not sound like you because you have moral OCD, AKA scrupulosity OCD. That's what it does. So you don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about why would I have that thought because I'm telling you why you have that thought. You have that thought because you have moral OCD. The end. Now, I wish it was that easy, but moral OCD is relentless. And so it is going to be very upsetting because you're gonna have all of these very, very disturbing thoughts. Thoughts that are very dark or different or things that just aren't who you are. Now, if you try to fight those thoughts and you say, I can't have these thoughts because if I have these thoughts, then I am these thoughts. And if I am these thoughts, then I'm going to do these things. And if I do these things, then something bad's gonna happen to me. Like nobody's gonna talk to me again, or I might go to heaven or hell or, or whatever your belief system tells you is what your moral OCD is gonna tell you. Something bad's gonna happen. So for people with moral OCD, it could be I'm gonna go to jail, nobody will ever talk to me again, or I'm gonna go down there. That's moral OCD for you. So. The best way to deal with moral OCD is to recognize that a thought is just a thought. And if you have moral OCD, you can't control the fact that you're gonna have obsessive thoughts because that's part of having OCD. So you can't control the thought, but you can control what you do with the thought. And that's the same for whatever type of OCD you have. Because most of you with moral OCD might have other different OCD themes as well. So when you have an obsessive thought, that part you can't control. Boop, here it is, obsessive thought, ta-da! What are you gonna do with this? Are you going to sit with this? Nurture it, obsessive thought. Let me confess it to my mom. Mom, obsessive thought. Hello, obsessive thought. Now we're gonna grow it bigger. And we're gonna like rock it and grow it. Mom, obsessive thought. Or, are we gonna say, oh, ta-da, obsessive thought. Yeah, that's right, I've got moral OCD. Hello, moral OCD. Of course you're gonna give me this really disturbing obsessive thought because that's what you do. Now what am I gonna do with this? And guess what you're gonna do with it? Nothing. You're not gonna do anything because when you try to fight something, what happens? It grows bigger. If I said to you, don't think of a big elephant, <laughs> all of a sudden I'm holding an elephant. Don't think of a tiger. Oh, all of a sudden I'm thinking of a tiger. And now here it is. So when you're having an obsessive thought, a bad, horrible, disturbing, let's not talk about it kind of thought, you don't wanna fight it. You wanna recognize it. Hello, welcome, moral OCD thought. Of course it's a horrible bad thought because I have moral OCD. And I'm gonna just hold it, ignore it. I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna get upset and beat myself up and say, why am I having that thought? Because you know why, because you have moral OCD. I don't have to do anything with this thought. I don't have to go and tell my mom, mom, moral OCD thought happening right now. Not sure if it's moral OCD. Should we just talk about it? No, I'm not gonna do that because that is gonna feed my OCD. It's gonna feed this thing. And I don't wanna feed this thing. I wanna grow it smaller. So I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna recognize it. I'm gonna salute it. Hello, I know what you are. And then I'm not gonna fight it or tell anybody about it. I'm just gonna go do something else. So I'm gonna go and do an activity. I'm gonna go play a video game. I'm gonna go watch Netflix. I'm gonna go do something else and just acknowledge the fact that I'm having an intrusive moral OCD thought. And eventually, as I'm not paying attention to it, whatever, I know you're there, but it's whatever. It's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually it's gonna go away. Now I know that's easier said than done, for sure, but I just wanna tell you the process of how to beat some of these intrusive thoughts. The key is to not pull at it, because the more you pull at it, the bigger it grows, and we don't want that. 
the more we confess about it, that's a compulsion, and the bigger it grows, and the more we have to check mentally in our head, are we this, are we this, are we this, are we this, would we do that, would we do that, would we do that, it grows, and we don't want that. So we wanna just acknowledge it, and then we wanna move on. Now, hopefully, you are seeing a therapist and your therapist is working on exposure response prevention. That's ERP. And that is the best therapy for any type of OCD and especially moral OCD as well, because you wanna lean into your OCD and do exposures where you are poking at your OCD. And so when you do have a thought, ah, it doesn't get a reaction because you've done exposure response prevention. So if you need help finding a really good ERP therapist, I'll leave a link below and you can look for one on the International OCD Foundation's website and try to find one in your area because that ultimately is gonna be the best way to beat moral OCD. But I hope that my video in at least explaining moral OCD is enough to give you a little bit of relief through all this difficulty. So I hope that you are enjoying my videos. I like to get ideas and tips and topics from you directly for my next video. So if you have other issues that you want me to help you with, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to make a video on that as well. So I hope you find the sparkle in every day. Don't forget to support my videos if you're finding them helpful and I will talk to you later. Take care.